Um, are, we, are we recording? What's up, y'all? Hey, my name is Darian Allen. My name is Gregory. How y'all doing? For those who don't know me, um, I am the founder and the CEO of The Investor. Right now, I have just tried to start this new arts and entertainment page called Growing Love. You can find us at Facebook, Instagram, YouTube, wherever, whenever. You, you, it's a good time. So just come on through. Exactly. Don't, don't sleep on us. Don't sleep, please. Because like, you... Yeah. You, you, you don't miss you don't miss it everything so you got to be up on it you know like everybody everybody's doing what they need to do we do what we need to do reap your benefits while we're ahead you know come on we you're, you're here you're already if you're watching this video follow us and share our stuff because that's how you're going to reap your benefits if you're not doing that start your own business too because we need to all grow you got to start a new wave right so greg tell me how old are you bro I i'm 22 where are you from uh, I'm from Hobbs, New Mexico. I'm born and raised, and then came down to the big ABQ in 2014. A little overview, I was raised by my mom, my grandma. My mom was cousin me when I was young. Me and my little sister went with my grandma. Then after a while, my little sister and I it became too much for my grandma to support us, so me and my sister separated because we have separate dads. She went, yeah, so she went to her grandma's side, and I stayed with my grandma. My grandfather came from over here in ABQ, Back to Hobbs, supported us for a while. Then around 2010, I want to say during my freshman you know, year, around September 14th, that was the day, my grandmother passed away and then then kind of went you know, south and everything like that. I started to get a little bit more freedom. I kind of found you know, Mary Jane and that's kind of how the rest of me became. That's kind of where my expressive side kind of started about. But throughout high school, I was participating in a lot of stuff. You know, From sixth grade all up until sophomore year, I was in basketball. I like to do a lot of track, football, but mostly basketball. Right. And then once I started to get into real high school, I was just doing this almost everything. So I was in Science Olympiad, Honor Society, Student Council, Band. I was an MC for a prep brother for a semester. Yeah. Just trying to get my hands caught up in everything. Well, I caught on the fact that you said that due to uh, your mother lost custody. Yeah. When you was raised by your grandma. Yeah. Do you feel like that shapes you for like who you are at the moment? Do you feel like that old school touch? Has something that shaped you a little bit? When my mom had lost custody of me, my grandma was already that mother role. Right. She was already like, this is my baby, you know, like from the get go. Mm -hmm. So when my mom lost custody, my grandma already knew to step up. And that she kind of followed me in a way. I became the only child mm -hmm. since her three children were already grown out the house doing their own do. Right. I got to get a little bit of some alone time. So. From then on out, you know, I, I got to kind of find who I am and like what I like to be. So yeah, that did help out a lot. Okay. You know what? Um, I'm fortunate. I'm blessed to say that, you know, um, I came from a two-parent home. You know, I mean, a lot of people don't have that. So I look at that as a blessing. Yeah, definitely. That, that's definitely, definitely a blessing, bro. Um, I'm from Dallas. I'm from Dallas, Texas. Specifically Pleasant Grove. Um, it's in the inner city. It's, you know, it's what people call the hood, you know. Yeah. Um, that's where I'm from. 25. Went to UNM, graduated with my bachelor's. You, you're working on your... I'm working on my bachelor's in media arts. Media arts. And I got my degree in psychology. What brought me out here, I got a scholarship. Got a scholarship to UNM playing football. So, voila. <laughs> I'm not your typical student athlete. Got to make things happen. I played here from 2012 to 2016. I graduated in the spring of 17. Got, did what I need to do. Got stuff done. I have a daughter. Right now, she's five years old. Her name is Kennedy and born on July 4th. The irony, I know about it. Here so much. It was like I said, um, I was blessed to have two parents. I have four brothers, no girls. No girls? So, yeah, so my mom is spoiled. <laughs> um, my mother is a real strong woman, but, it's, but we're gonna talk about grandmothers. Okay. My grandmother, my mom's from Jackson, Mississippi. Okay. So I'm from Dallas, Texas. But I was going back and forth to Mississippi and yeah, yeah, Texas. And my grandmother, God bless her soul, she's not with us now. Mm -hmm. You talking about a very strong woman who really helped me. A very wise woman. Wise woman, man. And I try to take every jewel she left for me and I try to apply it to my everyday life. But right now that's that's what I that's that's my background, bro. I mean, I, I didn't really have a rough childhood, but my community was rough. Yeah. So, walking down the street, sometimes you gotta watch your back. Sometimes you gotta hope that a stray bullet don't hit you because bullets don't have names. Now, um, just to cut you off, not to cut you off too bad, but I just want to say that I want to call myself blessed in this aspect mm -hmm. because I never had a time to where 
I was always like walk. I was like when I walked down the streets around Hobbs, there was never a time I had to be too scared about bl bullets flying past me. Like there was only one time where bullets hit my house, and it wasn't even directed at us. It was just some dude trying to shoot back at the police officers. So like from that, I can't even fathom the amount of like you know anxiety that you have to have every single day. You know, yeah. being on your toes, and P's and Q's, not being in the wrong spot. Always, man. I mean, so where I'm from, like there was a lot of gang banging. I mean, there's Crips. Where I'm at, and literally down the street was bloods. Yeah. You gotta watch literally what what you wear, how you move, what you say, and sometimes you in the wrong area at the wrong time, you might not make it. <laughs> so that's why my parents kept me um, active, man, as an athlete, um, musician. Uh, I played the piano. I, I've been playing the piano since I was seven. Did the saxophone, drums, uh, violin, and um, just, just doing what I need to do to stay out of trouble, man. And like my parents were one of the parents like you got to be in before the street lights come on. Okay. So that's that's what that's what it was right there, man. And we did what we need, they did what they needed to do. And you ask me, they did a hell of a job. I haven't been in jail. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, I got my degree. Um, right now, I'm currently in the process. I might be moving to Cali. Um, hopefully things work out the way I want it to. And you know, hey, the options are limitless. Hey. Success is limitless. And let's keep going. I just, I just want to say that the sky is no longer the limit. We do know there's a universe. <laughs> <laughs> I just want to point that True. out. Like, they're like True. They're, we, 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 you know, scientifically know there's a universe. So, like, that's the limit. Like, yeah. So like no more of the sky stuff. Take that out your vocab. Yeah. The galaxies of there's multiple galaxies. There's multiple <laughs> galaxies. Multiple one universe, multiple galaxies, and that's and that's that's the limit, man. All right. So, Greg, talk about your page, man. Um, tell me, it's it's growing love. And growing love. Yeah. Growing love. Tell me about it, man. What's what 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 is this page? What inspired you to do this? And what's your message behind it? All right, so um, the page is just like an arts and entertainment page, like just recording really cool entertainment. So I like to do comedy. So there's like comedy skits, there's like rapping on there, there's song singing. Um, I like to dance. So there's gonna be dance videos. I have just like a little Words Waldo slash Words Gregory type of like um, post on there to where I put myself, I Photoshop myself into a crowd and try to make you find it at all. But yeah, it's definitely an arts and entertainment. Growing love is kind of like a concept, but also it's a philosophy. It's a way of life. Like just grow love. Like pretty much, you know, treat people how you want to be treated. Like I don't know how else to really kind of put that, but it's really just growing love. That's the most authentic way I can say. I'm not trying to be no bougie. I'm, you know, I'm trying to help my mama. I'm trying to get her house and stuff. That's, you know, always part right. of the plan. That's but, always the goal, man. Yeah, you gotta but, buy mama house. Yeah, I gotta buy mama house. Oh, that's the still. Goal. Hey, um, growing love, it, it's an authentic content to where I'm trying just to build community. I'm trying to rebuild the stuff that people say is broken. I'm, that's really what it is. Okay. So, so, go ahead. So, with this growing love page, mm -hmm. it's about, you said, arts and entertainment. Now, I've heard multiple times that laughter is medicine for the soul. Okay. And, sure, for sure. And you have done skits before. <laughs> yeah, definitely. So. And you're currently working on one at the moment. Uh, yeah, you know, I, I got, I got, a, I got a few skits that I'm working on right now. So skits. you know, it, yeah. it's kind of like everything is mostly around them. Stay tuned for all that. Okay, that's good, man. That's good. So growing in love, I mean, it's kind of like self-explanatory. It's like, yo, this is what this is. So what's your message? The title. The title. We're growing love, man. That's all we're doing. You mean? I mean, I, I seen the logo. If y'all have not seen the logo, um, let me. Man, I'll, I'll see if I can I'll, pull I'll, it up. I'll edit that thing. Don't worry about. It. I'll edit it right here. <laughs> Don't even so, worry about. It. I'll edit that thing right here. Just so, so this, so the logo. Um, talk, talk to me about it, man. What made? What? What said? Okay, this is the logo because it's authentic. It's original. What made you say this is the logo I want? Um. Honestly, it was just like, it was weird because I was just trying to look through YouTube and trying to figure out names that hasn't been used at all. Mm -hmm. I was like, I'm just trying to type in stuff that kind of deal with love, peace, unity that hasn't been used at all. And Growing Love, there was like one other couple that was also called Growing Love, but they really wasn't posting much. And they were kind of like growing in love type of like a podcast family stuff, but... This, we got the same concept, so I wouldn't. I don't think they'll mind scooting over and letting us share 
part of the name, but Modern District Grow and Love. So yeah, that's kind of how it is. So really, the heart, I don't know, that's like the main, most symbolized way for love is, you know, just the heart. And at first, my original was kind of like a stem. I had like a little stem. I don't know if I can take a picture off, take a picture and post it right here. But it had like a little stem and a leaf. Right. And the way that one of my friends, he's a producer, his name is at Taj Jahaj, he's a producer. Go ahead and follow that too. Plug. Uh, <laughs> message. We, we try to get it out there. Right. Um, so he actually designed it on his uh, his computer, and then when he pu pulled up to me, I kind of like photoshopped it and kind of, you know, pushed that pushed that image out. Okay. What inspires you is the fact that, you know, I'm just trying to bring unity. I'm just trying to. Bring I'm trying unity. to bring peace. Because the world has too much chaos on it. Way too, it's much, too much chaos. chaos. Well, at least it's just like balance a little. Like right now, it should, it should at least be like chaos and peace should be like right here. That's balance. But right now, chaos is way up here and peace is down here. So, like, we you know, we're trying to make the equilibrium back on spot. Right. Homeostasis, that's what they call it. <laughs> I hear you. I hear you, man. What your business is, or if it's even a business, is it a concept, is it a philosophy, and what, what were the events that led? to bring you where you were at, to what you came up with the idea like, okay, this is what I want to do. <sighs> 2018. <laughs> I tell you, already a date, already 2018. <laughs> uh-huh. <laughs> no, um, all last year, last year was the worst year in my life. That I know of so far in my 25 years being on this blue planet. My girlfriend, Jessica McLean, I love you, baby. She challenged me in a way I've never been challenged before. Really? She pointed out my flaws that I was not aware of. What flaws are these? Okay. I, when I feel my character's being attacked, okay. I get on guard. Well, you get um, um, defensive. Get defensive. Sometimes I have a hard time taking criticism. Sometimes yeah. I, I take things a little bit too serious. Yeah. But it also woke something up in me. All 2018, I was depressed. I was diagnosed with general anxiety. You know what they say behind every strong man is a strong woman. 2018 was the year I broke down. She, I put her through hell, not on purpose. It's hard being with someone who's depressed. How can I make you happy when I'm not happy? I have a job, still working. <laughs> Had an apartment, still living in my apartment. Had it all, I have it all. Exactly. But it was the man who I was fighting with the man who I was becoming. So the man you was, will you say that was more like adolescent you and the man you were becoming more like a, a bloom, more mature you? As I, as I was, how can I ask? I'm gonna ask you like this. Okay. When I was a child, I thought as a child. Okay. But when I became a man, I put the a way things. Amen. I had suicidal thoughts. I cried. I've never cried as much as I have, as I did in 2018. I didn't start coming out of it. She done broke up with me. She broke up with me for like, like two or three days and we got back together. But I mean, she inspired me. And it wasn't because I didn't want to, I mean, some of us, I didn't want to lose it, but I just wanted to be better. And my breaking point, when I realized I can get a hold of this shit, one night we got into an argument, and I punched a hole in my closet door. And I looked at the door, all that frustration, it wasn't just that, I had work that was piling on me, dealing with, I'm the only black person who was at my job. Being the only black person in any situation is like the most biggest concept in black in the Mexico. Because I, I got to work two times hard. I'm under a microscope. There's my daughter, who's in Dallas. My girl, who's in Cali. My heart is torn in two pieces. Two, two pieces. One is in Dallas, one is in Cali. Okay. I'm driving 10 hour trips to Dallas and back. Just look at my little girl, check on her. And then I started a binder. I started reading a book called Strength Based Leadership. Strength Based Strength Based Leadership. Yeah. And then I read another book called The Magnificent Mind. Magnificent Mind. And 
these two put something together for me. I started a binder. Basically, wrote down my strengths, my weaknesses. I took a um, survey, what are my strengths? Okay. And I printed out, like when I mean it's, it's analytical based, so I have papers based on my strengths. Okay. And my binders in my car right now. Um, a list of strengths, a list of weaknesses. If you don't mind, um, go ahead and tell us, if you don't mind, tell us what are some of those strengths. I mean, we, don't, don't give us okay. the full no, yeah. give us a little I, I am an achiever. I am a, These are strengths? Yes. Okay. I'm a restorative. So, achiever means I like to overachieve. Okay. I like to get stuff done. I yeah, gotta get it done. You wanna, you wanna be perfect, you know, yes. make sure you wanna be top of the line. Right. And stuff. Restorative, I like to restore balance. But my weakness, yeah. and I told you the weaknesses. So what I did is with the weaknesses, I took the solutions. I said, all right, listen here when I say this. Nine times out of 10, every problem you have, you know the solution to. So what I did was I took the weaknesses and I put a solution to it. So whenever I feel like my character's being attacked, guess what? It's okay. I understand maybe it's criticism. You don't need to be defensive about it. Be open-minded. And the next one was um, sometimes, you know, as human nature, we get upset when we don't get our way. I had a problem with that. I said, you know what? It's okay. Because at the end of the day, maybe God got something bigger and better in store for me. Hey, okay. And I wrote this. I said, and, I, and it's a quote I keep to myself. Darian, you don't know everything. But if you continue to practice your skills, the gifts that God gave you, you would be the man God wants you to be. So I did that and I started reading and this binder I have, and ever since I started that binder, it started the investment. Now, my logo, if you see it right here, the investment, the diamond, everything is methodically picked out. The four eyes, invest. No, the four eyes is inspire, invest, innovate, and ignite. What inspires you to make an investment in yourself to make some innovation, which is changes within yourself so you can ignite a flame for those around you and yourself. The diamond is more of a spiritual base. The diamond is more based on wisdom beyond this, beyond earth. So I guess you would say it's more higher thinking and it's consistent. So I mean, my message is, hey, Take some time out of your busy schedule. Take some time out of your busy life and just work on bettering yourself spiritually, mentally, and physically. Because at the end of the day, if you continue to work on yourself, it's not its not a one-day thing. It's a lifestyle. It's a lifestyle. It's a lifestyle. Get that in my, and take this out. It's not going to happen the next day. No. You're not going to wake up and, like, dude, you got to do this freaking every single day for months, yes. days, years, yes. Yes. years, hours. You got to put in hours. You got to wake up all crazy. I, I'm, okay, I'm sorry. And, and that's, you're good. It's a lifestyle every second. And I notice a change within me. I notice I'm more at peace with myself. I notice things don't bother me like they used to. I notice things that would trigger me, I had a solution to, it didn't trigger me. So I was good. And this was started the investment. So I know if I can make a change, you can make a change. You can make a change. And let's, instead of living in this world where everybody's so selfish, why not be in the world where you have self-harmony, peace, and love within yourself? And that's what the message is of the investment. That's what the inspiration is. My girlfriend, that strong woman behind me who carried me when I was just broken. So that's my inspiration. That's the message. And that's the investment. With that being said, with the investment and growing love, as young black males, sometimes we have a hard time looking in the mirror and understanding what state of mind are we in in this day of age? With how the politics are right now, with how social media is at the moment, with how just the culture is. Me, what the investment, our motto is, we don't follow culture, we create our own. So the thing is, it's like, what do you think is the state of mind of us young black male right now? So I think there's a, for, for me, I know there are definitely two big 
state of mind. And there's a state of mind, I'm gonna start with the lesser one. The, the lesser state of mind is more of a lazy, procrastinative type of state of mind to where you know you have talent and you know that we're out here trying to struggle but yet you're not willing to participate, you're not willing to share your brother's craft or at least participate your own craft to help in the boat. And the second mindset is the ones that are actually participating in the crafts. They are actually knowing that they have something whether it's knowledge, you know, writing, art, you can actually speak, you know, you can Anything that is considered you, you that's a crowd that's your purpose, you actually are aware that you have that and you're using that to try to create. Mm -hmm. And those right now are the two states of mind that I have, that I have been seeing definitely. Well, my opinion, well, from my views of the state of mind, I feel like there's not a, enough love we give in ourselves as young males, young black males. I don't feel like we are getting enough love. We're not loving ourselves enough because why are we killing each other so much? I give you a statistic. Here, how about this? Men are 3.2 times likely to commit suicide than females. 3.2 likely to commit suicide. 3.2 times. Yeah. Okay. So <laughs> for every one female, there's probably three males that I have already. And this is also in the black culture. Okay. Now I feel like the reason that the, the state of young black males is just that the fact that I feel like the masculinity part of it is not as prominent as it used to be. And I feel like due to it's like the fatherless homes, but there's some women, I, and I command y'all single women, the single mothers that raise a man. So I, I applaud you. The, the, the thing is, it's just that I feel if we can find a way to love ourselves in a more progressive, more productive manner, instead of a more destructive manner, and we come together as one. I mean, we already we already rule pop culture. Everybody want to be black till it's time to be black. <laughs> so, so I'm there. But I'm saying that if we come together as one, but you need to come together as one within yourself. And I think we'll start making that. Not we're not just baby steps. Yeah. But we start making strides. Well, like the main thing to me, and this is my opinion, I think you might even agree with this too, it started with the man, the woman, the being in the mirror. Yeah. You know, there's a scripture that you can't look at your brother's eye and talk about, oh, let me take that little speck in your eye when you have a plank in your whole eye the first time. You know, take the plank out your own eye first, and then you can be able to help yourself. You know, self-help. Help yourself get to that pinnacle, or at least to that point of being to where you're stable enough to reach out your hand and give a help to one of your brothers. And that's what investment is all about. It's not just young black males. It's everybody. I don't care if you're black, you're white, you're Hispanic, you're purple, you're gray, you look like Tony the Tiger. <laughs> if you... Just take the time out of your day and work on yourself every second. It's a lifestyle. The what you eat, how you sleep, how you move, how you speak, how you think. Like, it's a lifestyle. And you will notice a change that is going to... It, it, there's something that Will Smith... I think it's Will Smith that he was saying his grandmother said. He said, there's something my grandmother always told me. And that is, as, as long as you keep on approaching everything with love and light... There's always going to be a good outcome. So don't get down on yourself. Don't get down on like, shit, I, I messed up. You're going to have some slip-ups. We're human. We're not perfect at all. By far. I tell you straight up, I'm flawed. Straight up. But I'm telling you, at the end of the day, I can sit here and say, you know what? I'm flawed, but guess what, though? I'm a 10 times better than I was yesterday. I'm 10 times better than I was an hour ago. I'm 10 times better than I was a second ago because you live, you learn, and you grow. Now, the only way that the, the only way you can depend on you have a progressive growth is if you actually learn from the lesson and you don't do it again and you actually see a change. You have a declining growth, well, you know what the thing is. It's a cycle. You keep on repeating. It's like making a left turn and a left turn and another left turn and another left turn. <laughs> That's insanity. <laughs> that is insanity. <laughs> really, repeating the same thing, just thinking you're going to get a different result is insanity. Mm -hmm. You got to find a different way. You got to find a different strategy. Think about it. A genius, or well, I think it was a genius, or I, I think it was Einstein, or was it Thomas? Was one of the inventors, Thomas Edison. Was it Thomas Edison who invented the light bulb? Was it 
Yeah, uh, that was uh, Thomas Edison. It was Thomas. Yeah. You know that man fell, like, what was it, Einstein? He fell, like, I forgot the number. It was, like, over a thousand times. He fell? Failed. Oh, oh yeah. Invention. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He, he failed. Yeah, of course, of course you make errors. You, you make know, errors. You gotta make mistakes. But the greatest thing about life is that you get up and you get another chance and you say, guess what? I gotta do what I gotta do to make myself better so we don't make this mistake exactly. ever again. Amen. If I make it again, it's an accident. It's not intentional. And I think uh, the add on, know your history, do your research. Don't be afraid to go back in time to understand because the same fact is, if you don't know what they did and how they messed up, you're gonna do the exact same thing they did as well. Right. You know what I mean? So as well as try your new stuff, don't be afraid to fail. Also, look at how other failed. Right. So you make it avoid that way, or you can kind of tweak it up, you know? That's why God gave you two ears and two eyes and one mouth for a reason. You know, you know how you get, you know how you tell get them, wisdom. Them, go ahead, you them. get wisdom by listening more and seeing more than you speak. You know say, this. That one, say that one more time. <laughs> time so God gave you two ears and two eyes and one mouth for a reason. So you can listen and see more than you speak. It's kind of hard to listen when you're talking. It's kind of hard to learn when you're not listening. It's kind of hard to learn when you're blind to the BS or trying to put a uh, veil over you like everything is okay. I understand. It's okay to say, I'm not okay. It's okay to say, I'm not doing good. It's okay with that. But that, that's how you gain wisdom. You see more, you listen more than you speak. If God wanted you to have more ignorance, he would give you two mouths. Message! Message! <laughs> I think right there, we're gonna call it a day, because these people, if they're not waking up now, then we're gonna have to wait a couple times and let them digest this message. That's fine with me. Again, my name is Darian Allen. I am CEO and the founder of The Investment. Um, on Instagram, it's at the.one investment. And it's kind of funny how I did that. That's intentional. Yeah, I, I kind of figured you, If you think about it, when you die, what do you carry with you? Your soul? You can say that. You can say that. Okay. Uh, let, me, how about, let me try a better question. When you wake up, mm -hmm. are you waking up by yourself? Yes. Right? You got yourself. You got yourself? Yeah. Why? It's only you. You're the only person to make a change and make an investment in yourself. Man, if y'all not listening, <laughs> y'all. We dropping gems, but the gems, I guess, is not looking at y'all. But hey, this, that's life. But uh, with that, my name is also Gregory Brooks. I'm the CEO and founder of Growing Love. Come check us out at, at Growing underscore Love 47. 47 comes from the uh, RIP Capital Steve from Pro Era. Y'all already know how it is. Other than that, y'all, we, we wish y'all a great day. If I can leave y'all with anything, this is what I believe y'all. Don't let others' opinions become your reality. Stay blessed, y'all. Peace. <laughs> he hutch on the tracks. Yeah, 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 yeah. D Brooks, D Brooks, yeah.